Welcome back to 50 Plus in Montgomery County. Welcome, Ali. We're so happy you could visit with us today. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you, and uh, thank you for having me and for the opportunity to be here and educate our community for the, one of the most important subjects that it's not been talked about a lot, and uh, we want to talk about it and educate our people in the industry. Uh, so we want to talk about today about the uh, uh, home safety. I'm not talking about putting extra lock on your door. We want to talk about fog prevention today. Uh, I'm Ali Soltani uh, from Handy Pro. I'm a civil engineer and pro project manager, and also I'm a certified consultant to understand people with challenging mobility and help them to stay safe and get access to any all part of their home. So what one tip would you give to older adults uh, who want to stay safely in their homes? So there are a lot of things that, that uh, we can um, advise uh, anybody that want to stay safe in their home, uh, regardless of their ability and mobility. Uh, so it's, it's a lot of dynamic stuff that we can work on and talk about it. But the, the most important part that we want everybody to understand, first of all, it's a, it needs to be designed correctly. Second, we want to start from basics and being proactive. So we want to we want to think about it before anything happens, before the fall happens. So because if you think ahead of time, you can prevent a lot of injuries and prevent a lot of uh, expenses on on your side. So the, the the least expensive and the basic product that you can have in your home is grab bar. So grab bar is very inexpensive. It's very easy to install. It doesn't require any major constructions. And, uh, but our, our citizens needs to understand what is grab bar and what it takes to install the grab bar correctly and properly. So what is grab bar? Grab bar is a piece of metal, is a piece of bar that, that can install directly in your, in, in your wall, either anchor in or goes to your stud or any structural elements that you have in your wall. So that's very important. I'll emphasize on that. It needs to be installed properly because we get, Anybody can install grab bars, but we need to make sure that the grab bar is going to uh, be able to bear that weight. It's not just your own weight, but when you are falling, you put two or three times of your weight on, on that grab bar. Grab bars comes in a variety of colors, finishes, and, and look. Uh, if someone doesn't like that to have that you know, simple industrial looking grab bar that you can see all around in, a, in like restaurant or any other places. So we can talk more about what, what it is and uh, what is involved to do um, uh, and while we're going through our discussion. So what are, you mentioned grab bars. I'm assuming that's for the bathroom. What are the most dangerous rooms in the house? You, you said it right. So the most dangerous room in the house, believe it or not, is the bathroom. Every year, based on CDC, about 234,000 falls happen in the bathroom. Wow. And four out of five fall, uh, they have a severe injuries that they have to go to the hospitals. Because when you fall on that hard surface in the bathroom, it's not a joke because you drop dead weight on, on that hard surface and you're going to break hips, legs, shoulders. You know, you're lucky if you don't hit your head anywhere so you can have a brain injury. So with the very inexpensive part, as I mentioned again, I'm saying it again and again, you can have that grab bar to prevent that fall and it's in, decrease, in, in decrease the, risk, the risk of fall substantially. I'm not saying if you have a grab bar, you're never gonna fall, but if you are falling, if you're losing your balance, if you have a, you become dizzy, there's something to grab on it. If you are sitting on a chair and when you're taking a shower, there's something to help you to lower yourself down properly, not just drop yourself on the seat. So again, the most dangerous place in the house is the bathroom. So you wanna make sure that you are prepared and it doesn't have any age that any age can benefit. I think the, the variety of people that can benefit from that grab bar, it's, it's very wide. In that report from CDC that that 234,000 falls, it starts from age of 15, one five, not wow. five zero. So it's, it, anybody can fall in the bathroom, but when we get older and we have some challenging balance or, or stability, so we need it more than someone that is in 20s and doesn't have that problem. So the grab bars are mostly for the shower or in the bathtub. What about other places? 
done, you know, basically Grabbar can be installed anywhere. It can be installed by your, your bed. It can be installed by your commode. Uh, so help you to toileting easier. It can be installed next to your vanity or your sink that you are brushing your teeth. But the most common area for the, for the grab bars are in the shower for a couple of reasons. One, that's a slippery area. You know, you sometimes, you know, lifting your fifth foot or to, to wash that. You, it's, uh, you know, you sometimes when you're washing your head, you close your eyes. So you can get dizzy when you close your eyes. And again, the most important part, it's, it's slippery. It's a lot of, you know, soap and water in there. And so, and if, if someone doesn't have that much stability, they can easily slip on that area. But anywhere, some people put it in the stairways because they don't want to have like a hand drill. So they think it's cheaper to do that way. So they put a couple multiple of grab bars we've seen in people's home that they put it on the wall, uh, on the staircase as well. So it can go anywhere. It's a very um, good, good product to have. It. And it comes in a variety of shapes, as I mentioned before. So it can be, for example, I, we can install the towel rack, which is grab bar. Oh. We can install the, uh, the toilet paper holder that is grab bar. Wow. We can install a shampoo shelf that is grab already. There are rings that it goes around your, your faucet in the shower. So the list goes on and on. It's, it doesn't have to be that generic, simple, industrial looking grab board that you see if you care about a look. And if you want to kind of camouflage it or, or integrate it in your bathroom design, there are ways. I, we can install grab bars in any color in the rainbow that you want. So it's not in the past that it was just only stained steel grab bars that you can put in. Now the uh, the possibility is endless for what kind of grab bars we can install. I think we do all think of those stainless steel uh, grab bars. So to learn that like a towel rack or a shampoo holder or even a toilet tissue holder can be grab bar rated, that's really that's really interesting and impressive. Um, so you also mentioned stairways, um, a staircase. Is that one of the like dangerous rooms you mentioned a bathroom it is how about is stairways is are there other rooms stairways are due but before we move to that section sure. i want to i want to add another another thing to to just give our audience that the sense the importance and urgency of having grab bars nih recently <laughs> it's uh investing to to developing an app through a private sector to, to be able to recommend grab bars by, by, by camera. So it tells you where you need grab bars in your bathroom. And also it will inspect it when the contractor is installing it during the installation and after installation, that app can tell if the installation went correctly or not. Because again, I said it again, it's important to install that correctly because if you don't have that grab bar, sometimes it's better than you have a grab bar that it hasn't been installed properly. So and I so can, it, can it you could I this is can I back you up a second that you said there's an app that can tell you if it's installed correctly? No, it's under develop the, the develop the, they are developing that app. It's not out there. So I'm one of the reviewers of that app and on the on the installation part of it wow. that you know we'll, we'll review that make sure that the, the app can see all the parameter that it needs to be to be taken in, in, in consideration when they when they inspect the installation. But it's not out there, so it's in the in it's a, in the phase. Then it's in the second phase, actually. We, we passed the first phase with NIH, and now we are waiting on, on on NIH to approve the second phase for us. But again, I'm 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 a reviewer of that app, so that I just wanted to brought that up to tell you how important the grab bar is, and because it's the it's the least expensive uh, home modification that you can do to prevent a large medical bill for you. And, and, and not, not even the medical bill, it's a hustle, it's the uh, uh, you know, headache, it's the whole family will go through it if someone falls and go to the, to the hospital. It's not just that person. So it's, it's gonna be at least four or five people involved in it. So just wanna brought that up before we move to, to the next uh, yeah. segment of our, our interview. Um, so for, for the stairs, yeah, the stairs is the second place that people fall and, and most of the falls after the bathroom happens in the stairs. But because the stairs is not the most used room in the house, so that's why it's in the okay. second place. But the injuries can be more severe than people falls in the bathroom, because if you're falling down the stairs, you fall down, you know, I don't know how many steps you have, 10, 12, 13 steps down. And on each steps that you're going down, you can hit somewhere off your body on it. So you can have a multiple 
of injury and fraction in, in your body. So you want to take care of that area besides your bathroom. So that's the second place that you want to take a look at it. Wow. I know our viewers will be interested in the cost of these modifications. And I, you have mentioned that there's a whole range, a rainbow of colors and a range of things. But for your basic grab bar, um, making sure that it's properly, can you give us a, like a range of the costs? Uh, yeah, so the, the, there are different costs that it depends on what, what kind of walls you have, what kind of materials you have. But, you know, grab bars, they are, they are inexpensive, as I mentioned. So the, the range can be from two to three hundred dollars and going up. It depends what you want to do. There are some grab bars that it needs blocking behind the wall. It depends on the person's weight and the, 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 the condition of the walls, what kind of grab bar. There's some of the grab bars cannot be installed without opening the wall and putting the blocking inside. Some grab bars can go directly into the, uh, into, uh, the shot. Some grab bars, uh, it needs to have a proper anchoring behind the wall. There are different kinds of anchors that we can install. We usually rate grab bars for about thousand pound when we install wow. them. Yeah, so we, it, usually people don't have that much weight, but we wanna make <laughs> sure that if the grab bar is needed, it's there properly for them uh, to be able to use it. Wonderful. and. Um... Ali, I really thank you so much for coming by. And I'm, I'm sure our viewers would like to learn more about the home modifications. I mean, you have emphasized grab bars, um, and I think that's important for us all to know. How can they stay in touch with you? Uh, they can call us or they can go on our website, which is handyprowdc, which is handyprowashingtondc.com, handyprowdc. We, we do have free consultation. That's all they can do. They owe this to themselves to just at least get a free consultation to know what they, what, what they need to expect, how much it's gonna cost. Maybe all the things that they have there in their mind, it's not accurate. So let us to go there, talk with them. We don't charge, we don't have any charge for our consultation. We can assist their home and tell them what they need and break down the cost for them so they can planning ahead of time, as I mentioned, being proactive so they can do it in phases. So they they are there before any crisis happen or that fall happens. Well, Ali, that is And our great. phone number is 301-960-1060. And you can just Google us at Handy Pro in Washington, D.C. and all the information will pop up. Well, that is wonderful. And to learn about your free consultation visits, that is a great service you're offering to, to residents of of the area. So Ali, thank you so much for, for visiting with us today. I really appreciate the information. 